Hey guys, it's Ash from the Editing Bay here. Uh, we had some issues with our recordings for the intros, so I'm going to tell you what everyone's playing and then we'll get into the gameplay. First of all, we have Chad as a returning guest. He's going to be playing Red Green Bond, as you'd expect. Uh, he has Mox, Mox, and Soaring as his points. And his deck hasn't changed all that much aside from the point spread change, so it's a little more aggressive now, but it's generally doing the same things it always has. Our second guest, his name is Steven, he is playing red, green, blue lands, along with a very small white splash for exactly for Theralingus. Uh, it's a lands mid-range deck, also wanting to do, uh, has some combo options, and most notably, it can, uh, it can grind out really well, as most lands decks can. I am playing Spearmint Jeskai. It is just guy with a few green cards like Oko, Uro, Omnath, that kind of stuff. And we are going to just be trying to grind out our opponent, draw more cards, remove their stuff, and then eventually kill them with a Merc Tide Regent or something. Nicholas is going to be playing Kiki Pod with a Seeker Walk line in there. So he is fitting in Time Walk along with Spell Seeker and Survival of the Fittest for point to cards. Um, I think some other ones in there too. He is going to be playing a creature toolbox deck that also has combo options as well. So let's get right into the gameplay, starting off with Steven versus Nicholas. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Paperlander number. We, we think it's 15. We're pretty sure it's 15. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. It I, is. <laughs> I am Chad on commentary, and for our first match, we have Nicholas. Hello. And we have Steven. Hello. And uh, so, did you guys each keep seven? No, I'm on the six. I, it's a questionable six, so there's some free information I, I kept, for you. I kept a sketchy seven, so we're, we're both on All right, your hands. Sweet. Excellent. Um, this is going to be the hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> right, right. Who, who wants to show first? Um, I'll show first, because I'm going first, if you want to close your eyes. Uh, so we've got it. It's it, it's right, now, not now flip them around. Oh, uh, yeah, the camera's flipped this way. Sure. There you go. Um, not the worst six, but like it's not the best six. You know, uh, it's a it's a six. Mm. All right, my eyes are now closed. Okay. This is the part where everyone goes. Oh, that's why it's a sketchy seven. All right, uh, you guys may commence with... Hold on, game. hold on. All right. My eyes are closed. Go ahead. All right, sweet. You're on the play. Uh, I'm going to play a Flooded Strand and pass the turn. Powerful magic. I'm going to play good old Honest Magic. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to fetch... Uh... Nope, that was the wrong life total, actually. Oh, no. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> well, that's not a wrong <laughs> You know what? Yes, actually, for and I'll some I'll take some quality entertainment while I am searching for my triome. Um, I don't actually remember what triomes I put in this deck though, so I need to figure out which one is optimal. That way, it's in. Oh way. crap! <laughs> I have a black triome in my deck. What is I'm gonna be to honest. I any other triome. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I built this deck at like eleven o'clock last night, and I just wanted to go to bed. So just, my mana base is just real. Call, just call it Spar's headquarters. Uh, oh no! Oh no! We we committed to the bad decision. All right. I need all the. Help I'm I gonna can get, get the Ketria Triome, and then in in between rounds, I'm gonna swap out that other Triome, and there's nothing any of you can do to stop me. Well, I mean, in tech, what if you need it for like your Death Rush or something? I am playing Death Rush Shaman. To be fair, are you, maybe, are you maybe, playing like Prismatic Ending? Uh, yeah, alright, you're not sure. We'll lean into it. We'll <laughs> lean into the awful black triome. I'll say, I feel like at this stage of the game, you should just, like, you should just take it. Alright, Marsh Floods, go. And by this stage of the game, you mean the game has actually begun. I, um, I'm gonna strip mine your catcher triome. Um, alright, I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna fetch. Thank you, Chad. Just so you know, Chad, this is a this is a very greedy line. Oh yeah. You're you're at one mana. He's gonna be at two mana next turn, assuming he has a land drop, and so you're just just putting yourself just a little bit 
behind for one more turn, but... Right, but he also didn't play anything for two turns, so, yes. like, cutting him off mana is reasonable. Yeah, if you can have the first play on board and... Plateau, I'm not going to shuffle yet, because... Strip mine I'm your opponent. going to Eldarmate's Call. Sure. Then that's usually a pretty decent tempo prey. What? Does Mana War bounce lands? Mana no. War? No. That's a shame. Just if it, it, it bounces Dryad Arbor. Oh, it's just creatures? Yeah. Oh, okay. So lands, no. Asterisk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you flash it in on their turn after they animated their Celestial Colony, they sat. No, can't get that. Except Mana War only bounces your own things. What? Mana War, you have to return a creature you control to your, to your hand. That, or, that is not true. Hey, pull up Mana War. Hold on. It's You're right. M-A-N dash, dash o, o apostrophe dash no, we're, we're, we're definitely we'll letting uh, sure. <laughs> letting the, the near miss thing do its work. Uh, return target it's creature good. to its owner. Okay. okay. We were really overthinking yeah. this card. We, we were. We were. <laughs> because like that's that's the card that uh, Marshall Sutcliffe loves so much because it messes with your opponent's you stuff. Why not just play Reflect right. Mage? Uh, are you done after that? Yes. All right. Which one of us is going to tell Marshall Sutcliffe that he's been playing Man of War wrong for like? Drop. <laughs> dash the monkey. Sure. Oh no. I will swing for two. That's fine. All right. Uh, I need a treasure. You get a uh, take an extra turn spell. I unfortunately I don't have five mana, that. so that's not going to get cast. <laughs> <laughs> I have, Mystic Sanctuary is a hell of a drug. Just so y'all know, I haven't actually seen Steven's list yet, so I don't. Uh, just this. Good news, guys. This is a treasure for now. I will go to my end step. Okay, go ahead. Here's a treasure. Sweet. Sorry for that sound bonking. I will. Uh, we'll forgive you. I'll play this firelit thicket and pass. I'm playing very riveting magic. Show oh it. yeah, I'm here for it. All right, I'm gonna play a beside you. Sure. And we're gonna play out Comet Stellar Pop. Heck. Ooh. Oh my. That's exciting. Mm. All right, we're gonna uh, zero unless you, you got things to do before it resolves. You're right. I am not used to this uh, newfangled. Last time I saw someone cast right, a comet. Chad, if you don't know what Stella, what comet does, I'm gonna read it to you. It's <laughs> zero. Roll a six-sided die. Drill one or two plus two. Then you make two squirrels that gain haste till end of turn. If you roll a three, you minus one, and you get a card with mana value two or less from your graveyard to your hand. If you roll a four or five, he deals, uh, it's a lava axe, and then minus two. We got and it on then, the screen now. Okay, Sweet. perfect. That'll work. And if you roll Comet a six, has, you has, win the game. Uh, continued um, wizard's trend of just shoving as many words on a card as they can. You can resolve your roll. All right. That is a one, so I get some squirrels. Uh, and I'm, I'm, this I'm happy goes up for you. Two, so. Ash, did you shuffle these? No, but so. there's no squirrels. Nicholas, what are you talking about? Um, it is in my bag right there. Alright, I've got... Here's here's a 1-1. One, one. Alright, we've got two squirrels. Um, I'm going to swing for two. Um, that's fine, I'll take two. And I will pass the turn back over to you. I have Steven at 15. Does that sound right? Um, no. No. I might have I, have, I, should, I, be I should be at 16. Yeah. Um, I'm going to fire the comet. Okay. Fire, 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 fire. Woo! We're having fun today. Okay. This game gets harder now. Yeah. Does it? Or maybe the saplings. Let that represent your, your squirrels. Okay. It's still green. No, see now. Don't know where all our squirrels went. Um, I uh, he took just... two, so he should be at. He goes up to seven. Oh, he, he gets plus it's two. Plus two yeah. Jeez. It's, uh, it's pretty whack. That is crazy. Um, thinking. What would it do? The comments dumb. Yeah. Comments real dumb. Like I said, last time I saw someone play a comet, it took someone from 20 to 0. I'm going to so. take 2. Alright. And I'm going to play this Dak Faden. Okay. When I wasn't looking at the board, um. and you said you wanted to fire 
I'm gonna uh-huh. bust stack fate and target myself. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant fire ice. These are good cards. Never, I, I never paying enough attention. I brought up fire ice on the screen, it's really but it was punishing fire all along, and I'll, I'll was, bring that up. Because, it was punishing fire the whole time. Because punishing fire could be very relevant later in this game. It could. Yeah. Discard one. I assume you're playing the uh, the land that lets you let your opponent gain life. Yes, I am in fact playing Grove of the Burn Willows. That is That's kind of the combo. Um, it is busted nutso. <laughs> Man, this discard choice is really hard. I want to show Chat my hand so they can they can All see right, what's going on. Really close. All right, Chat, you know about this card. Ooh. Someone's gonna be like, "No, this is really easy. You just discard these two cards." But like. This is kind of a hard choice. Yeah. Do you want my opinion? I think it's going to be this one. I've got a good opinion. Probably here. this one. I feel like what's, asking what's... an L2 judge if he wants your opinion on a gameplay decision is is <laughs> questionable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is casual. Yeah, so this, like, is, whatever. this is below casual. So, I mean, it's wanna, hold on. We need Nicholas's permission to give... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, okay. all right. So my opinion is, like, based on the way that the current board and, honestly, his deck works, this is just not nearly as good as that. Okay, so we'll get these two. Yeah. Yeah. All right, can I open my eyes? You can open your eyes. All right, what did we discard here? We discarded a Mazabeth and an Expressive Iteration. But, but you can Mazabeth one of my infinite Felidar Guardians. That's correct. <laughs> that, that's what I meant. That, that's what I figured the card you were talking about was. Uh, yeah. uh, you can go. All right. Untap. Fuck you. Let me draw. That being said, I guess you can Mazabeth your... Like, do the do the Night of the Relic right. thing. We're going to start with good old Comet uh, here. That seems like a good spot to start. It's a five. Um, it deals damage equal to the number of uh, creature, creature or player specifically, not planeswalker. Ow, my face! So we'll do five to you, and then this will drop down to three. I go to nine. Comet's such a bad card. Awful. Card's bad. Unplayable, even. He no, is. Yeah, he dope. is not the goodest boy. It's only dope. Hey, seven you take that back. To, uh, no. To Steven over the course of uh, we're gonna two turns. Dash the monkey. Yep. Now you get to answer um, the question of what do you yeah. care about more, my life or, or this deck fade that is obviously going to actually get me out of this game. I This emblem is sick. Have you ever stolen someone's like primeval titan with a with a punishing fire? No. Um I've only ever had Jack Faden in decks where all my removal just killed everything they played. We'll get in at you for four. Okay. I mean that's not true. Like I've played you like chain four plasma. Four. What does that do? <laughs> chain of plasma. Oh. Oh! Yeah. You are? Yeah. Okay, I need to I'm pull I'm not going to play that. Okay, I, mean, I do get a treasure, but I'm immediately going to spend that treasure, and I'm going to Leyline Binding the deck. Once you've given the second, That's fine. read that and use it to put another card on screen. Okay. And then you'll bounce the rags. Yes. Um, yeah, I'll go down and step in and pick up the monkey. Everyone's read that card on screen. Not read this card on screen. What's the other one you're killing? Him? The one. Oh, Okay. All right. Um, Meanwhile, I'll bring up the card that actually. Oh, that that's not the right card. I'm gonna play a Corsair. There it is. Okay. So that is correct. Hey, look at that! <laughs> huh? Combo assemble. That's rough. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah. That's like dumb good. Uh, I'm gonna play this Grove, and I'm gonna gain a life. Yeah. Wow, oh, that was a wimp up piece. No. <laughs> Um, hey, look at that. I think I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna nudge your deck down just a little bit so that the people can see. And, uh, the people got a right to know. Draw. The people need to know. You can't handle the truth. Uh, starting out with Comet. That's a two, so more squirrel. Um, I have four of these. But thank you. Uh, I yeah, I'm just gonna. You got my gaining the life way. there, by the way. I should be at ten. Um, Off uh, of the Corsair. You should be it. You should be it. Yeah, you took. So oh, right. I took a lot four, of damage last turn. And, one to five. and five. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, so no, no. I, six is, I'm reading six it is. as nine because of the way it's <laughs> oriented. Sure. Fair enough. I'm at six. Yeah. And keep track of my own life total, apparently. Do you, do you want a life back? 
Nah, I, I've got a clicker in my other jacket, but it's fine. Hey, Ash. The life tracker did not update. From, did you uh, just adjust it up and down again? Let me see if I can. Does, okay, was this two anything? It, it, it basically uh, drops input sometimes. No. That's what I rolled for Comet. Oh, oh, okay. Now I gotta figure out how to progress my board state. That's not true. You're right. I shouldn't do that. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Comet kind of did it for you, though, right? I mean, Comet, yeah. For sure. That is the one issue with dashing yeah. Ragavan over and over again. Actually, wait. You you should have one he more. Spent, yeah, I spent he it spent it immediately. Okay. He spent on the line. It would be very helpful if I did. Hmm. Oh, look. Um, another reason to be on a black clown. That's sure. It's still still really bad, but you know we'll we'll take it. All right, I'm going to just cast the Ragavan. You got it, boss. And undashed monkey. I'm going to cast a Fentorn Elves. Sure. And I will allow you to eat. I guess I should have attacked first, but it doesn't matter. You can I'll eat see. one of these. Yeah, I'll take three. Um, and I'm going to. Pass it back over. Uh, I'm going to have you gain a life, and I'm going I'm to spend respond to the trigger. Sure. Uh, you still gain a life. Sure. Yes. I'm an endurance, so I get good food. Spicy. Now, dude, P fire like actually just ruins his life. Yeah, that, that that's yeah. just <laughs> awful for me. Like, I, that's yeah. All right. Um, and yeah, that's it's back to you. Just so everyone at home is clear, uh, he cast Endurance for its Evoke cost, which triggers its Enters the Battlefield ability. Uh, but Unfortunately, he having to pitch the Green Sun's myth, which is sad. Yeah. Alright, Steven, I'm in love with your deck. I haven't put a deck of this in years. <laughs> My deck is wild. Um, let me it, think about this. My creature second. combo deck is doing the I creature do combo thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, slowly ticking away at a planeswalker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For board advantage. It is. I. You have one card in hand. One card. It could be anything. It could even be a boat. It could even be a boat. I don't think he has the points for treasure cruise, guys. Yeah, unfortunately, mm -hmm. if it is treasure cruise, then you would get an automatic win because my deck is mega illegal. But if it's any other boat, there's other boats in Magic, surely. Sky there's Sovereign. Uh, I guess that's a sky boat. There's a canoe I guess we take sky from uh, Call Time. See? Oh, the legendary be... creature that turns into a boat? So many boats. Four. Sure. Co out. Cosima or something like Four. that? I think there's also just a regular vehicle. Oh. I'm going to Odawari your pup. Okay. Adios, dog. Then I'm going to play this Glacial Chasm. Oh, Ooh. that's very annoying. I'm going to gain a life and sacrifice the grove. Pass turn. I forgot about the Into the Battlefield effect that it, that card has. Yeah. Draw. Now all we need is a Salinity. I'm not playing that card. Seven Brass. You take one Darn! Two. I'm gonna palace dealer. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll hit the course through uh, there. Uh, yeah. Um, all right, I'll where's our monarch? Grab a monarch. I really should have pulled out all the tokens from my deck first. Uh, that's that's my bad. We, Chad we, over we here looking like a terrible table friend. In reality, uh, we are. I I am the terrible table player. Uh, I have an implied yep. monarch. Everything is terrible. Um. Used to be All players. damage dealt to me is reduced okay, to zero, so, so Ragavan will not, not do anything. Correct. I will uh, move along to my end step then. Okay. And draw for Monarch. Yes. We have a go. Mordenkaiser emblem, but not a Monarch. Uh, I'll take two off of the Glacial There case. is one in that. Uh, well, there's, there might be one in that. I paid two life for the Glacial okay. Chasm. Sweet. That's right. If I do that and I just start like dying to this attrition, I think I need to 
I need to get some velocity going here. Blue, green, green, green. So I'm gonna have a green floating at the end of this. Okay. I'm going to cast this grow spiral. Sure. Draw a card. I will put this land into play. Yep. Um I'll play a Lotus Cobra. I will take one. Yep. I swear to God, if you've been slow rolling a lightning bolt this whole time, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, play a Dark Depths, my land for a turn. So you okay. go. Untap. Keep. Collective inhale as we all see uh, some another die. something resembling a uh, wind condition hit the battlefield. Um. It, it, it does resemble a wind condition. Well. I guess we'll start out with... Uh, is that already? Yep. Yep. Play a comment. Repop mm -hmm. the play. Roll six. So I have two rolls. Uh, that's a five... I guess I have to do these in order. So yeah, you, you the, six, probably... the six brings it up to six. The five will deal damage to the Lotus Cobra. Yep. And then takes it down to four. And then I get more squirrel. Mm -hmm. um, and this goes up to six. Uh, and then I'm going to play out a tap sequence. And I'm going to go to my end step. And drop a mark. Mm -hmm. And you're good to go. Uh, I cannot pay for Glacial Chasm. Yep. Draw. Yep. Game two. All right. Good <laughs> comment. Doing everything. Does this reset button work? Uh, it does, but sometimes it doesn't update close. All the answers. Sometimes you get weird like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the easy fix for that is just, like, have it reset one life total and then the other. Well, that's what it does. Right, but I mean, like, put, like, a, delay. a, a one second delay. Yeah, that is the easy fix. Yes, you unplugged it. Oops. <laughs> Ugh, that was brutal. Never got, never... <laughs> Never got to play Never anything that to game. Start snowballing, yeah. Where I really messed up was I should have played the breeding pool. That would have let me play the EI correctly, mm. but I didn't want to take the damage. The express iteration. Yeah. Mm. When you're when you're playing that, as many colors of mana as both our players are, uh, being very careful about what colors you get. Life or death. Playing, playing three colors, black triumphs. Yeah, probably yeah, colors, closer to death. Yeah. Spells are, I think spells are getting more and more color dense. I feel like they're not, but also like we're we're playing so low to the ground that you're playing more spells in a turn, and that's what makes it crunch. That could be it. Because like a lot of, because like I can't think of any of the good mono colored cards that have been printed in the uh, last like couple years that have been multiple pips. They're all one color pip. Well I was talking about gold cards more but I guess yeah. that's fair. I yeah. imagine you're taking the play. Yeah. That's that is hard. advantageous. <laughs> Just a little bit. No, I think you're right actually. I can't think of any pip pip cards that are mono colored that are like recently came out and are really good. Like Modern Horizons but you just play those without play, paying for them by exiling a creature, <laughs> white card. Yeah, well, it's like, you card. know, once you get up to five CMC, multiple pips don't really count. Yeah, I'm going to throw this one back. That's true. Uh, keep. Get 
that hand was a little too unstable. Yeah. Was it one of those where you had to draw like one of like like you were drawing like six out of your deck? Um, no, it was kind of a six card hand based on how I had to fetch. Ah. Yep. My hand last game, obviously the people watching know, but it was uh, it was three lands including Seiju, but it was I think Palace Jailer. Um, the Palace Jailer play was insane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of mad. Drawing the land for Palace Jailer was, was pretty wild. I, I know. I was like, oh, he stumbled on mana. I'll bounce this comment. That way he doesn't have any four mana plays. And you're just like, land? <laughs> like, oh my god. Yep. Nothing. I think something interactivity, something, something. Um, yeah, we, me and Ash have talked to consider. I, we probably talked about this on the podcast, to be honest. Like, Pod used to, like, the Planeswalkers it played were, like, Domri Raid for finding more creatures, Zen Garrick Relentless for tutoring creatures, Zenagosh the Reveler for making mana, and like, Sahili Rai for, like, the Felidar Guardian combo. Now you're playing none of those. You're just playing, like, Minsk and Boo, Renin Six, Co Comet, Oko. Teferi. Just because, yeah, Teferi, just because you can't justify not playing them. Like, yeah. playing Mana Dork into any of those, like, it's it's just too good. To not play, but it definitely gives me really hard. I gotta throw one in more back. of a mid range dichotomy, I suppose, like mm -hmm. half mid range. Half and really, it means I have to throw one of these back. One of those back. Yeah. Yeah. And like weirdly enough, I think this is the worst card in my hand. No, I think that's the correct one to throw. Yeah. I, I, I would agree. Because uh, what what's that card you throw? Oh yeah, close your eyes, Nick. Yeah. You can show the camera. This is my six. Yeah. It's a six. That is kind of tough, but like, because of this, that's not dead. Right. If it has to. Right. Um. All right. All right, Nick, you can show. All right. And then we look at his hand and realize that mine doesn't matter at all. Um, it's uh, not not too bad. Not not the worst hand I've ever seen. All right, my other, wait. Did you already show? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right, we good? Yep. Let's roll. Uh, eighteen. I'm gonna put a fast spot on the stack. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna play this fetch land and go to seventeen, and then I'm gonna pass. All right. Um, I'm gonna play a city of brass into a birds of paradise. My ramp is just as powerful as your ramp. Sure. Uh, if you say so. Go ahead. And get a Ketria Triome. Can't believe we got the Japanese Ketria Triome. Uh, it's still on the head. I thought it was going with the Kaiju theme. <laughs> I, 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 I dig it. Okay. <laughs> I, did, I did play a Dark Depths last game. Yeah. <laughs> if there, if there's a Kaiju in Magic and it's not Emrakul, it's gotta be, gotta be. Marathon. I don't think it is Emrakul. I mean, it, now that's more Cthulhu, I guess. We, we do have literal, actual Godzilla on a card, multiple cards. That's not <laughs> magic. That's not magic lore, though. <laughs> no, that's just that's just if Godzilla. Dis like it's just Halloween for Godzilla. Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to play this Wooded Foothills. Okay. And then I'm going to bolt the bird. The bird has been bolted. Go ahead. I know my line. I know your line. <laughs> I know my line. That's why I'm standing over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Misty Rainforest. Go. Um, I'm gonna go to 15, and I'm going to get a. I'm gonna get a tundra, and I'd like to put this spell secret also on the stack. Um, right. The water else. You right, uh, Savannah. Did 
I'm dumb and forgot a specific thing about what your hand is doing, and I don't know which line is. <laughs> Am I good to spell secure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get crop rotation. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna fetch down to 18. Mm -hmm. What colors of mana do I need? Um, I'll get a tropical island. Nick, you have all five colors of mana already. Woo! What are you talking about? But he does not have domain. <laughs> he sure doesn't. <laughs> now you have domain two. Well, he did have domain. It was just domain zero. Is this still on Steven's end up? Yeah. Oh, both players are shuffling. You know what they call the this shuffling. format, don't you? What? Magic the shuffling. You never heard that? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cut. Is uh, an unfortunate reality of the, <laughs> the format. I'm going to play a fairy mastermind going down to 17. You have a fairy mastermind. All right, go to my turn. Would you like to cut? Uh, yes, I don't want you to have those ones. <gasps> those no. Are, those are too powerful. They're all powerful. Uh, untap, upkeep, and draw. Hey, Judge. Yeah. It is against the rules to cut a speci like a counted specific number of cards, right? I don't remember. They've changed the rules on it a couple times. It used oh, to be you okay. had to cut like minimum three cards, oh, but okay. then that went away. I believe policy states that the deck has to be sufficiently randomized. I'm going to play a okay. Copper Line Gorge. Yeah. I'm going to play a Phantasmal Image. Sure. Um, uh, spell seeker. Seems seems good. I thought I had heard that you can't cut just one card. I I'm not sure if that. I think they've really also. Heard I that. thought that that was under the umbrella of a specific number, like a counted. Mm. Maybe. Because if the intent is to randomize and you're There's like too many very Tom deliberate. and shenanigans going on that I don't want Fastbone to be involved in. Is that prismatic? Yeah. So, um, My kingdom for a force of will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's the um, second word I can't remember? Ending. Prismatic ending. Uh, yeah, that happens. I yeah. keep, now we just gotta draw Azusa. Yeah. I keep, I keep getting betrayed by trying to Go search with two. just one word yep. on the searcher and bringing up something. Uh, we'll take two. You can do like Fourteen. partial words. You could do like Priz end, and it would pull it up. But like. I tried prismatic and that brought up prismatic lens. There's lots of prismatic. Wait, there's several prismatic cards. How did it pick lens? All right, here, here's here's it the giga brain play. Vista. All right, I'm gonna play this retreat to Kazandu. Okay. I'm gonna play this fetch land. Yep. I'm gonna put a one one counter on this finish. Sure. Ooh. Okay, so we picked we picked the. Oh, it's every time you do it. Sorry, I was thinking it was like the outposts. No, you no, pick no. cons or dragons when you play it. It's so much. Oh fun. no, it died. Oh, wait. If it, it targeted. Yeah, phantasmal image, uh, yeah, if it gets targeted, it gets sad, and it was targeted. Um, That's pretty cool, little, little yeah. interaction, though. Right? I like pretty, it. Uh, pretty nifty. It's the first time I've ever had a creature die to a land. Well, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Ganjo would like to have a word with you. <laughs> right? I Ganjo would like to take you out back <laughs> and deal four damage to you. I thought creatures become Check dead for, to me off of yeah, grass. I'll take one. Um, I'll pass. And, uh, let's draw. I definitely have had a spell seeker kill retreat, somebody as like a like a sixteen sixteen creature. Huh? What? Do retreats busted? Oh, with retreat? Yeah. Um. Uh, well, it worked so well last time. Uh, we're gonna play our good friend Comet Cellar Pot. I just uh, want to watch the landfall deck go off, Nicholas. Stop playing dogs. <laughs> board board. Thinking. I need to read this. I think Comet has been on the screen for like a third of this uh, <laughs> game. <laughs> Comet! <laughs> the deals, game warping. Deals damage as part of resolution. I'm gonna. F Fetch okay. in response. So I'm gonna go to twelve. All right. And, uh, sure. mm -hmm. That's an option. Uh, 
that's another option. So, Nick. Hmm. How are you feeling about Fairy Mastermind in this matchup? Uh, it's a 2 1 that attacks. Yeah, sounds about right. And it had flash, so you didn't have to worry about. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm gonna gain two life because the spell seeker is gonna die anyway if you roll that number. Go ahead. Well, you have a surveil, uh, right? I do. I have surveil. Um, I, I will let that resolve first. So, I'm honestly kind of surprised to see Fairy Masterman on your list. Is that list not? Um, it just got a. It probably shouldn't be. Uh, okay. I I threw this de I threw this deck together so quickly. In fact, there's a good chance that at some point tonight I will realize I'm missing some very important card. Is there a Kiki Jiki? Yeah, there's there is at least the the pieces for the pod chain. Okay. Is is there the? Uh, I'm gonna the, put that Mace Fifth in graveyard. I got corridor monitors. Stephen resolving the surveil. Five. I think I'm gonna hit you. Yep, reasonable. So that's for how many? Five, five. And then it goes down to this three. This friend drops down to three, and we'll you get in for two more. I'll take two. And that'll uh, end my turn. The beats. So this retreat to Kazandu might could gain Steven a lot of life. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Like a couple of fetch lands or something. You could do something. That's for sure. Is Rochita Kazandu? Did you put it? Uh, did you put it up on the screen at any point? I did earlier. Might be worth putting up again. Yeah, this is not to micromanage you. <laughs> you do whatever you see. Think um, seems right. Oh, my hand was just off. <laughs> Can I see your graveyard? Yep. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. So th to be clear, this isn't just a value piece. This can also be a uh, combo piece. You um, have three in hand. Yeah. The, with, with, yes. With. Because on Dupe plus Fast Bond, suddenly you're get net gaining life instead of net losing life. Uh, with uh, Thankfully, I have at least... I am bond. going to loam oh. these three lands back. That's life. pretty good. Okay. I am now very glad that I got rid of Fast Bond. Correct. Uh, sorry. I'm going to get the Maze of Ith. Sure. So there's a Maze of Ith. Right? The, uh... Nope. Stick with my gut. Stick with my gut. Okay. Three lands. Three lands. So fetch land... Fetch land and the uh, and enduring maybe deeps. Maze with. Enduring deeps is that what it's called? Echoing deeps. Echoing deeps. Um, oh, I'm gonna put a one one counter on this. Sure. I'm gonna fetch. Put another one one counter on it. Yep. Goodbye, my dog. Suddenly the uh, spell seeker is getting small. I'm very happy Kill to see the, the death of the dog. So this is a tropical island we have here. Yes. Echoing deeps also potentially a combo piece. And we'll pass the turn. On the server, I was throwing a lot of shade at Echoing Deeps because it's so restricted and how it can work. But uh, how have you been liking it, Steven? Oh, it's great. Hmm. This deck definitely does do like. I mean, like we saw the spell circle get a crop rotation. We've seen. Like, Wanna, like you have wastelands. Yeah. One of my favorite lines that I've done was I. Uh, Cast a prime time, grabbed glacial chasm, and that's being stage. Green sounds for three. Um, that resolves. Okay. Big sad. And then proceeded to sack the glacial chasm, attack with the prime time, get uh, field of the dead, echoing deeps, copy the glacial chasm. Uh, so now you have a six six attacking you, and I'm still protected. Yeah, yeah that's a lot. This card's great. Yeah, these are the known cards in my hand, by the way. And it also is it's a pretty interesting... Oh, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to tell you. If, if there are any cards known by both players, good to keep them up just for the audience, which you clearly just... Good to about them. But another thing I didn't think about uh, for Echoing Deeps is you're playing... Uh, target destroy the retreat. Um, I will respond to that. Yep. I'm going to rotate the Savannah. Yep. The other thing is that you're playing Echoing Deeps alongside... Um, Gifts on given and intuition, so it could potentially be part of one of those piles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Card's great. It's not exactly life from the loam, but it like has life from the loam esque right. effects in those situations. So yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. 
uh, the only down. Oh, I'm so sorry. The only thing is that it, it ETB tapped, right? Or you can have it come in untapped as not a copy. Oh, okay. That's yeah. That's pretty. Does have a bit of a fail safe if you don't have anything in your graveyard. It's also notably a uh, cave in case that comes up. I am going to gain two life and put this abrade on top of my deck. Sure. This has been significantly more of a game than the last one. Uh, in case any of you folks at home are confused by how the life total was just work, um, the life total reader was confused, but now it's fixed. Yeah. It should be fixed. Yeah, so you just got to keep an eye on it, and then if it is a discrepancy, just go down or up again on whatever. I, I didn't notice there was a discrepancy until right. I was changing no, it. No, was it green sun zenith? That happens green sometimes. Sun zenith. Okay. It is back in the deck. Yep. Would you like to cut before I put the separate on top? Um, oh no, sure. Mm -hmm. Those ones are too good. You can have those other ones, and then we'll get in for two. Yep. Um, and that's my turn. Hey, I wonder what I'm drawing. Um, crazy. I braid the mastermind. Oh no. That's pretty good. All right, that makes sense. Sylvan Library no longer getting domed by the mastermind. Correct. Um, I'll play a Maze of Ith. Sure. And... Uh, you don't have Kazanu anymore. Doesn't I... Ask. 10, 5, 7, 3, next I have Maze, next turn. You have three in hand? I do. And Steven, you just have that land in hand. The, uh, yes, the Misty. Yeah. So then library relevantly going to start giving him some card selection. Then. I'll pass. Okay. All right. I should have I'm brought sorry. up Sylvan Library so that we can all see Draw. just right. how Fairy Mastermind uh, hoses it a little bit. Sylvan huh. Library notoriously uh, good when you have fetch lands. Kind of like Brainstorm. <laughs> have you played Brainstorm? Have you played Miri's Guile? I thought of putting Miri's Guile in here. I, I don't think it's good. I'm I've X's played it, too. though. Yeah, this card's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, I know. I, 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 I play that card. I'll get in there for I'll two. take um, two. He's exiled. That's right. <laughs> because, for, yeah, for some, like, you know, you just... It you eats gotta, it. No, because it eats it. Oh, sure, no, yeah, no. I guess that's fair. Uh, I take two. Oh, is that the lore? Five. I don't know. Oh, uh, go ahead. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, that a, makes sense. It is a giant. Draw. It's a two for net. Yeah. Two, three. Oh, ew, I have one of those in foil with that. I don't like his signature, and I kind of regret having him sign it. Honestly. Oh, you just like the way it looks. Yeah. Oh well, I thought it was cool. You've just given me free information. I now know it's a card that is a male artist, and he has been alive at some point in Steven's lifetime. <laughs> To sign the card. Um, that that second one isn't even necessarily true, <laughs> except for the fact that I'm pretty sure you have uh, two in Magic hand. the Gathering two, is only three in hand. Three in hand. Okay. Um, I hate when magic gets hard. <laughs> Why can't it just be easy? I just want the audience to know that we don't have any like correct image files uploaded, so whatever I end up bringing up for the signed card is not going to be. Sign. Is prop is going to be a random printing, not necessarily the sign. No, you just hit old. old. You hit old. I'm gonna take this one card. Sure. Okay. So that that'll either pick the newest printing, the oldest printing, or the right. middle of the list. But if it's if, if it is the oldest printing, it's, I'm gonna gain a life. Okay. I'm gonna gain a life. Yay. Oh, oh whether well, I just, just yeah. That's uh, okay. I, 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 there we go. I wish I could gain like ten life. It'd be great. <laughs> Uh, I have no other game actions. Them. Go ahead. Yeah. Untap. Untap. Are the... Okay. Yeah, yeah that's great. Right. Sure. I have not been looking at Nicholas's hand very much. I don't really know. You can look at my hand. It's free. <laughs> I'm going to play a Clifftop Retreat. Mm -hmm. Retreat! Run away! Oh, okay. Um, this actually leads to an interesting... You have six. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to not tap incorrectly. Uh, 
I'm gonna play Spellseeker. Yeah, I have no, I have oh, no interaction. Okay. I'm gonna get a time walk and cast it. Mm, that's pretty good. And then good. I'm going to swing with Mala. Uh, tapping down your maze of it, presumably. Um. This is our third spell seeker of the game now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess it I'm is. I'm gonna fetch. It'll end up being mana. It'll be life neutral, so you don't need to. You're right. To worry about that. Um. This whole game pretty well illustrates okay. the importance of uh, having interaction, any kind of interaction. Yeah. You can't land her. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, especially now, like you have to, you have to be playing some sort of interaction, even in like storm, you got to be able to interact. Yeah. You can be the gold fishingest de deck ever, but. Uh, your opponent's going to be planning on interacting with you, and suddenly you're you're going to be like two turns behind. Cut. Yeah. I'll block. Okay. Uh, of course it does. Um, go to my turn. Mm -hmm. and, uh, draw. Does it actually change the map? Kind of. Did you take your time lock turn? Uh, He's ended his time, time lock turn. Lock turn. Okay. Oh, wait. You're at six. Mm -hmm. Do you have a way to get the time lock back? No. No snapcast or time walk? I'll concede to that. <laughs> I mean, that would be great. There's gotta be. Oh, okay. Right? Just need to put like Do one more to... point of power. Okay. No, three more. Um, I am going to. Play a Scalding Tarn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a Splinter Twin on Spellseeker. And then, and then I'm going to twin the Spellseeker. Wait. Yeah. Um, okay. Am I good? Good old Splinter Twin. Still, still banned in modern, right? Uh, I'll fetch at the same time. Hey, look. There's a convenient Spellseeker there. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> Kids, um, don't try this at comp on you. Touch for Tiger. It was exiled, it's fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. And then I'm going to get a Neoform. I'm going to Neoform the original Spellseeker for a Questing Beast. That's four, five, six. Yep. Yeah. Show me the Questing Beast. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> I, I know it's in here. So Maze of it removes a creature from combat, but the point is that there'd be too much power and toughness on the board yeah. with haste. For I will say, blocking with the Corsair was good. I, I was just like, okay, he's going to Maze of it, the Moloch, and the next turn I'm just going to put the Splinter Twin here, copy it to destroy the Corsair, and then swing. But uh, blocking with the Corsair, actually. Giga brain kinda, play. Yeah, kind of jacked me up a little bit. All right, what are my next three cards? Minsk. <laughs> Wasteland, plus Aegeo. So it's Minsk and Boo. Yeah. I, I mean, we already saw Minsk and Boo, so we knew it was going to be Minsk and Boo. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Minsk and Boo is really I good. picked up the crop rotation. Like, getting rid of the fast one was actually correct, because I picked up the crop rotation to uh, go get a Boro and gain infinite life and say good luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, 
I mean, honestly, my deck the deals with infinite life uh, pretty well. Right, but, but it, it definitely it gives I mean, me so yeah. much time. Oh, it gives you so much time. I mean, the the mid range plan stops working. So In, infinite damage beats infinite time. Right. Or infinite life. Uh, it depends, but yeah. It depends on which infinite All right, is give bigger. Me, give me my salty game three. <laughs> um, I, do, do you guys actually want to do a game three or? Um, uh, it's it's been f- fifty minutes, so I yeah probably not. Yeah, probably not. Uh, maybe right. maybe we might get some more jams in off camera later, but I think yeah. I mean, you've got plenty. He yeah, has salty or non salty. Salty as <sighs> all the salt. <laughs> All this I think I I really like Thundering Falls in here. I know I only played it like once or twice. I uh I think I played it once, but which one was that? The Surveil Land that oh, I thinned okay. the Maze of Ith and then bricked into the Life in the Loam. Mm-hmm. So the, yeah, the, the Surveil Lands have been I don't great, and by the Surveil Lands I mean the one Surveil Land I run. Yeah, but, but it's been great. I think I running mean, one Surveil Land is correct. Yeah, yeah. I think having having one to like fetch for is good, but. I have a large aversion to tap lands, I'm so I'm waiting for a good deck. they make me uh, a little nervous. I, I, I but... can find a spot. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay, no, we're goodbye. We're we're we'll see you, we'll see you in the next round. So. Thanks for watching. Yep, we'll see you in the next round.